everybody and welcome to Charlton Primary School. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Mrs Ribbons and I'm the head of school here at Charlton. It's really nice to be able to welcome you to our school and thank you very much for choosing us and choosing to send your child here to Charlton. So the purpose of this video is to give you an initial insight into life here at Charlton and to support you and your child in their transition to school. So at the moment we know that life in school is very different but that's not going to stop us making your child start to school a success. It remains our priority and we know that by working together that we can ensure that the start to school for all children and for the staff is positive. So we understand that many of you have been at home for a long time during this period and that the many children may not have been to nursery as often as they have been in the past. And that may cause you some anxiety and maybe some of the children as well. On the other hand, some of you may be raring to go and really looking forward to starting school. Wherever you are in that spectrum, don't worry, because our early years team are really experienced here at Charlton and we'll all work together to make sure it's a success. So please spend some time to watch the video. You're going to be introduced to a few key people. You're going to see some parts of the school and you're going to be given some key information that's really going to help you as we start the induction to Charlton in September. Hi everyone, I'm Miss Momo and I'm lead with teacher and learning for reception and year one and I'm here at one of our amazing forest schools where we like to come and learn. At Charlton we've carefully designed our curriculum around our school and our community and especially around personal, social and emotional development which is going to be really important when we come back to school. And this all starts in reception where we really want our learners to be creative thinkers and independent and resilient and we do all of that through playing and exploring. At first we focus on the three prime areas and that's personal, social and emotional development, communication and language and physical development which includes all our fine and gross motor skills to get our muscles ready for writing so we do lots of movement for dance, play-doh, disco and pattern work. And then we move on to the four specific areas of learning, which are literacy, maths, understanding of the world, where we learn all our science, our technology and our history, and expressive arts and design. Hi, I'm Miss Judge and I'm going to be the teacher in Parrot's class from September. And because we haven't got you here for a meeting, I'm going to explain to you what the day is going to be like when you start. So we start the day at 8.40, that's when our gates are opened, and you will come in via the playground and through into the classrooms. And then at that time, when you come into the classroom, there'll be lots of different activities set up at the tables for you to play with. And we call that time child initiated. The children can choose what they'd like to play and learn with, and it'll be in this classroom and in Toucan classroom. And then during the morning, there'll be some teacher directed tasks as well. We'll be focusing on reading, We'll be focusing on phonics. We'll also have some maths during our snack time and there'll be a play time, um, which will be to start within our outside area, but then with the rest of the children from key stage one out on the school playground, which is just in the area that you'll see when you come in. Um, it will then be lunch time and we have our lunch at about quarter to 12 in the dining hall. And then after lunch, we will do some topic learning and more child initiated in our classroom environment. The outside area will also be open and um, for the children to play in. And the teacher might direct children to do tasks that they ask them to do, such as writing or reading. Um, and then the home time is at 3.15 and you pick up your children from the same place that you bring them in, the gate at the end, and teachers won't let your child go until they see the designated adult that you've said will come and pick up your child. On a Monday we will plan to send home reading books with your child but we'll talk more about reading at a later date. And on a Friday we will send home some home learning tasks. Um, that your child will be able to do his homework and send them back in on the following Monday. Thank you very much. I hope to see you soon. Hi everyone, I'm Mr Walcott and I'll be Toucan class teacher next year. We're really lucky in reception that we have this amazing outdoor area to play in every day. We like to play in our water area, in our mud kitchen, and we've even got bikes to play on if you're really well behaved. So I look forward to seeing you all soon. 
Bye. Okay, so when you come in in the morning, you'll come in from the gate just over there. You'll walk up and through this amazing gate here, where we'll be waiting to greet you. Then at the end of the day, we'll come out through this gate where you'll line up and then you wait just behind the gate until you see your adult. Hello everybody, my name is Mrs Ward and I'll be teaching in parrot class. I work on a Wednesdays, Thursday and Fridays and Mrs Judge works on the Mondays and Tuesdays. I'm really excited to meet you all. I'm going to show you today some of our uniform. So I've got here our navy blue jumper with the Chartum logo with a little white swan on it. We've also got a Chartum cardigan. So you can wear those or you could wear a plain navy blue jumper or cardigan, that's up to you. We've also got a light blue polo top and bottoms you can wear grey trousers, grey shorts or a grey skirt. We've also got a checked blue and white dress, something like that. Shoes are black, uh, they just need to make sure that you can take them off and put them back on again all by yourself. For PE, we have a white t-shirt and blue bottoms that can be leggings, joggers or shorts, plimsolls and trainers as well. We do have a drawstring bag for PE um, with the Chartum logo or you can bring your own. This is our Chartum book bag. You can have this one with the logo or one of your own choice. It's just got to be able to fit into a locker. Coats. Again, a personal choice, just make sure everything has got labels because things do go missing in school, but if it's got a name in it, it usually turns up at the right place. We ask children to bring in a water bottle with their name on it that can be refilled as and when throughout the day. And in reception class, you're going to need your wellies. Okay, if you've got any questions about school uniform, you can speak to um, the ladies who work in the office. They'll be more than happy to help you. If you wanted anything with a logo on it, you can get that from uh, the website, Your School Uniform. Okay, all this information will be sent out to you as well, but just thought it'd be nice for you to see what the uniform looks like. Looking forward to meeting you soon. Bye. Okay, so these are our lockers. Now, Toucan class, my class, we'll be having green lockers. And if you are a parrot, you will have blue lockers here and there are also some blue lockers just behind where the camera is. Now in our lockers, we will put our PE bags and our coats because they're not that big. And some of you might be thinking about bringing a rucksack. Now, unfortunately, our lockers aren't quite big enough for a rucksack. And I'll show you, this is my rucksack. And if I put it in my locker, I can't close my door. Okay, and that's really sad because if people walk past, they might hurt themselves and we don't want that. So if we could just try and keep our PE bags and our coats and our lockers, that would be amazing. Down from the lockers, we have our toilets. Now these are the boys' toilets, so if you're a boy and you ever need the toilet, you need to ask an adult and then you can come and use these toilets. And then just a little bit round the corner, we have our girls' toilets. So girls, this is where you would go if you need to go to the toilet. So when you start school, you will need a book bag and you need to bring this in every day so we can put important things inside it, like our reading books. And when you get into school, you can put it into your tray. See, it fits perfectly. And on the front of your tray, you will have your name, and then you get to pick any picture you like to go on your tray so that you know it's yours. This is our hall. This is where we have assemblies, and we have plays. We've got a nice big stage, and we sometimes have our PE lessons in here as well. Mrs Morgan does a lunchtime club in here with lots of games and activities as well. Play museum playground where we can have lots of fun and I'm on our brand new climbing equipment that we like to play on every day. Hi parrots and toucans, here's our ICT suite and we come in here about once a week to do teacher directed tasks. Hello, my name is Mrs Fluitt and I'm very lucky because I look after reading at Charlton Primary School. Um, we are passionate about books and reading and we hope that you've got lots of books and stories that you share at home too. Um, obviously reading is a journey and that journey will start when you come to school in September and it continues throughout school but we want to make a team with home and school working around your child's reading and so then we look forward to seeing you in September to start that journey. So we're very lucky because as well as our library area and our book corners in the classrooms, we've got an outside literacy garden with a reading den where you can snuggle down at playtimes and read books and share stories with your friends. Hello children, this is Mrs Fluitt. 
children, my name's Miss Scott and I'm the school secretary and every day that you come to the school office, this is the face that you will see. I really look forward to welcoming you all in September when you start school. Hi everybody, uh, when you come to school in September, I'll be here, I'm Louise and this is where you're going to come up and get your lunch, you know, choose what you want in nice big voices and then you're going to take it and sit down and with your friends and enjoy your lunch and then you come back up and choose all the delicious puddings. Right, we'll see you in September. Have a nice summer holiday. Hello everybody, I'm Mrs Morgan. I am the family liaison officer here at Charlton Primary School. My remit here at Charlton Primary School is to look after emotional well-being. I'm always here to discuss any concerns that you might have at school or at home. I also complete all our healthcare information. So if you've got any concerns or your child has any additional needs or needs support in school, please do get in touch. Hi everyone, I'm in the safe space. This is where children come sometimes if they need five minutes, if they're feeling a bit overwhelmed. Um, it's right outside my office and it's just a great place to come and have a story. We've got nice resources and bits and pieces here. Hello everybody, my name is Mrs Elderton and I'm the Inclusion Manager and Senko here at Charlton Primary School. I share an office with Mrs Morgan who's our Family Liaison Officer and we're based in a lovely room right here. I work on Monday, Tuesdays and Wednesdays and I'm always available on the phone if ever you wanted to talk to me about any concerns that you might have. I'm really looking forward to welcoming all of your children here to school in September and please feel free to contact me if you've got any queries or questions at all. Thank you. I hope that you found this video useful today and it started to answer some of your questions around your child starting here at Charlton. There are many ways that we can communicate together. We've got our email address set up, there's a tapestry account that you can access and of course there's lots of information on our website and you can always call in at the school office where there are always members of staff here. So finally from me, we know that if we work together and have a positive relationship with each other, your child's school journey here at Charlton will be positive and successful. So if you do have any other queries, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us. Our early years team are on hand to help and they're going to be spending time over the rest of the summer term to get to know you and your child ready for September. So I hope you all have a lovely summer and we look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.